This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. How to autocomplete for search box. So I'm giving you an example how to do that. Before going ahead, I'm just taking one reference store that is 12 by 12 car stock shop. Let me just log into the store. So our desire is when we are searching something in this search box, the relative product or pages should come up. I'm just giving you an example. Suppose I'm searching for blue, pro, blue cardstock. So just type blue and let's see what is happening over here. So here you can see all the suggestions that is related to blue is coming up in this box. So I'm showing you now how I have done this in the website. To do that, I have used one app that is Search and Eyes app. This is the app Smart Search and Instant Search, which is made by Search and Eyes. You can see the name over here. Now over here, what are the things you need to do? You just need to install in your site and that's it everything will be taken care by itself now there are few plans available and many options are there so I'm just going all the options one by one so first I will show you how to install this in your site to do that I'm just taking one development store and installing this into that one so consider this is the demo store where I'm working right now and let's see To install this app, we need to go to the app section, visit app store, find the app, smart search. This is the first one that you need to install. Click on Add App. Click on Install App. If you want to take some help from it, you can do the quick tour or you can start without tour. Now over here, you just need to give some time to sync all the product with this app. As there is very small product, it automatically synced with all the product from our store. If it is not like you have very uh, like more than 10,000 products or like 20,000 products then you should give some time to sync your uh, store product to this app once the synchronization is done you can see the result over here you will get the API key and you can see the status of it if it is processing then it, it will show like it is still processing it is syncing with the store right now if it is done you can see it is up to date now over here I'm just going through a few options uh, you can use filter option for the collection page you can see already there are few filter options that is enabled what this will do this will do some options like uh, the price filter you can select some range of the pricing 
uh, you can also choose the option like availability i am showing how these options works in the live site i'm going to the collection page on the left hand side you can see all the collection features are there like the color by the product type by the vendor by the collection and all it is totally up to you what are the features you want to add so these are the small features i'm not going deeper into it so let's focus to the search section so once i have installed all this thing in this new new store let's see how it is coming Uh, here are only three products available. So let's see if I type by t-shirt for the suggestions I'm getting. Once I type T, you can see the suggestions is coming as t-shirts. I can choose any one of them, select any product of it, and you will get the product page. Now, few more things I'm just telling you regarding this thing. This app is not free it is running in the store as trial based you can see if you just go to the app section you can see the trial option here you can see it is the it is in trial mode so now i'm going uh, some giving some information regarding to this app to do that i am just opening this in app store Over here, I am just showing you uh, the pricing of this store because pricing is very important and it is relative to the number of product that you have. So up to the 25 product, it is free. If you have more than 25 product, then it is chargeable. I am showing you the chart where you can get the clear view how much it is charging you exactly. If you are going annually, this is the charge rate. So uh, up to 25 product it is free up to 500 you will be charged like 6.3 dollar per month so if you go monthly not annually then you the charges will be increased a bit here you can see it is nine dollar per month for 500 product 18 dollar per month for 5000 products and there are lots of features which is not available in the free version you can see it is also available in the paid version like the category pages which i have shown you over here the collection page or the category pages so this type of features is not available in free but if you are in the paid version any of this paid version will have all the options like this so i think i have covered this thing and i will also show you a few other apps that is showing the same option like this you can find the another app that is live search which is doing similar type of thing but not so much powerful like this this is one of the app i love this most this do the same thing like this app i'm just showing you here the pricing is 3.99 it is quite uh, less than this app like the minimum charge is nine dollar in paid version but in the live search it is doing only the search no other option is there like the filters the collection page the synonyms and all so this is quite easy to use and the price is quite less you can see the example store how it is working consider i'm finding glass over here you can see all the relative things the collection the blogs the products all are coming in one shot if i click any one of them i will directly landing to that particular product page or the collection page okay so i think that is quite good using this app you can easily achieve this search thing the automatic search thing so thank you thanks for watching if this was helpful please subscribe and if you need extra help visit askquesty.com and send us your questions